Hello and welcome to another GCSE Economics video with me, Mr Goff, for MrGoff.com. This video will focus on evaluating the benefits of supply-side policies. Supply-side policies provide a range of associated benefits. These include the ability to target different markets, reducing inflation, increasing employment and economic growth, and improving the balance of payments. The government is able to target its supply side spending on particular markets. For instance, the government is able to invest in training schemes in areas of high need. The government has recently made over £180 million available to help attract training teachers in high priority subjects such as maths and sciences for courses starting in 2023 and 24. Meanwhile, spending on the HS2 project is designed to promote growth in the north of England by improving its links to the capital. Supply side policies aim to cause a right shift in supply. This helps to keep prices down and reduces inflation. It does, however, depend on producers passing on any lower costs that they receive in the form of lower prices. When there is a right shift in supply, not only do we see lower equilibrium prices, but also a higher equilibrium quantity. Firms raise their output to match the expansion in demand. To create this extra output, they generally require additional workers. It may be in some cases that the additional output and additional economic growth is created through increased automation. This will limit the improvements to employment. Supply-side policies help keep costs down by increasing productivity and keeping prices stable. By keeping costs down for UK firms, it makes them more competitive internationally. This means they can make more exports and improve the balance of trade, which is the difference between our net exports and net imports. The balance of trade is the core component in the balance of payments, which we'll be looking at in a later unit. That brings us to the end of this video evaluating the benefits of supply side policies. Join me in the next video when we'll be taking a look at the limitations of markets. Use the resources at mrgoff.com to help you revise economics. And until next time, it's bye for now.